Hi, I'm Kayla Joy and this is an Inspired Design Tutorial. The painting in this tutorial I did for a good friend of mine. She really loves orchids and cherry blossom trees and she asked if I could incorporate that into a painting for her so that's when blossoming orchids came about. So enjoy the painting and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll put the links in the video description. Hope you enjoy! First things first, I'm putting the base colours of the sky down with a lighter blue um, on the outside and a dark blue on the inside of the canvas. Next, I'm blending the colours with a mop brush. Now time for some layering, I'm adding a, adding a turquoise colour into where the clouds would be and a magenta colour as well. To get this pink colour I mixed magenta with white. Again I'm using my mop brush to blend the colours together. Here I'm adding some definition for some clouds. I'm using turquoise, white and the same magenta colour. I'm just dabbing the end of my paintbrush onto the canvas. I won't be blending the clouds in the front because I want them to look light and fluffy. I'm measuring where the top of the waterline will go from my original drawing. Now I'm peeling off the masking tape so I have a defined edge of my waterline. With the darker blue than the sky, I'm painting the surface of the water. I'm using a deep purple around the edges of the water and a light turquoise blue in the centre where the reflection of the moon will be. Now onto underneath the water, I will be using a blue similar to the colour of the sky, like a light blue, and just filling in the base colour. Now with my darker blue, I'm painting where the waves are going to be. Using a fan brush, I'm blending the darker blue into the turquoise blue so it looks more natural. I will continue doing this throughout the surface of the water. At this stage, I'm just adding in the darker blues, which will act as the shadows from the reflection of the moon. Here, I'm adding the turquoise blue once more to the, to the shadows of the waves. Next, I'll be 
be working on the highlights. I'll be adding some magenta into the waves, some white and some light blue to make the highlights of the waves from the reflection of the moon. The key to get the tones of the water correct is to continue layering. Make sure there is a contrast between your lightest and your darkest shades. This part of the water will be the lightest as it will be where the moon's reflection hits the water. Keep a reference picture handy to make sure you, ke you get the tones right of the waves. Here I'm just adding in the lightest shade of the wave, the whitest white. Unfortunately, my camera stopped recording when I was painting this part, but as you can see, I have painted in the magenta in the highlights of the waves. I've also made the whites more prominent. Now onto the moon, I'll just start off with a circle in the center of the sky, filling it in a white. To add highlights and lowlights, I'll be adding a subtle hint of both the magenta pink and the light blue. Keep layering until you feel like you have the colours and the texture correct. Now to add some definition to the underwater scene. First, I'll be adding a dark turquoise colour to the corners and the bottom of the canvas. And next I'll be adding a white colour to the surface of the underwater scene. Once the white has blended into the turquoise and the light blue of the water, I'll be adding the same turquoise colour to the edges of the surface. I will keep the white in the centre of the water where the moon's reflection is. To add some reflection into the water, I will add two white lines and blend them into the blues. To make the shine more prominent, I'll put more blobs of white paint over the top of where I just drew my white lines. I will soften this with the mop brush. After the background has dried, I drew in white charcoal the subjects of my canvas. To get the right texture and colour of the trees, first I paint a base coat of brown. To get highlights and lowlights, I use a darker brown and also the magenta colour from the sky. To get texture, I use my palette knife to scrape carvings into the tree. I 
I'll continue this, these steps through the entire painting for all the trees, obviously using less detail for the ones in the background. Using a hog's hair bristle brush, I dab a light pink colour to form the leaves of the cherry blossom tree. To create the look of the flowers dangling from the branches, I use a fan brush on its side to dab the detail in. I continue this for all the trees, obviously needing less detail for the background. To add some depth, I add a light blue to the shadowing of the flowers. This is from the water's reflection. Next, I add white to the tops of the trees. To create each orca, I first block in the black and white shades. I use the same light magenta and turquoise for depth. I continue this step for each orca, differing the amount of each highlight depending on the whereabouts in the water. For this orca, I will use more white highlights as the water reflects off its skin. Using straight white, after the orcas have dried, I will fill in the water splashes using a fan brush. <laughs> 